Well, after he took a week off the campaign trail so that his team could pump him up with Prevagen so that he could remember his cued lines only to lose the debate Thursday night against Donald Trump, Another 24 hours of rest, Joe Biden hit the campaign trail on Saturday and he went to Pennsylvania to another drive-in style, cars only, people honking at him, the half a dozen or so cars that were there. But actually, he drew the biggest crowd he's ever had. Why? Because Trump supporters showed up. Gotta love it. Absolutely love it. Now, he goes on, you know, one of his little dithering tirades because, again, apparently he gets the form of Prevagen that you and I can't buy over the counter at Walgreens or CVS. So, you know, he's on the super steroid version of Prevagen so that he can kind of act like he's sharp for the one event that he will do uh, for the weekend. And you know that his rallies are only about 15 minutes long. You know, the president will do five a day in five different states, an hour each, and, you know, he just, he can keep going and going and going and going, and people say, well, he, he can't be like that. Well, you know, you're the president. You don't get the luxury of just lounging around in your bunker like Adolf Hitler did, which is what Hyde and Joe Biden is doing, because he doesn't want to answer questions about the fact that it was actually he and his family that were involved in Russian collusion, Ukraine collusion, China collusion. What kind of man, here's a simple question, what kind of man pimps out his drug-addicted, crack-addicted, ne'er-do-well son who gets thrown out of the military, and you pimp him out to be your cash mule while you set up money laundering for all of your illegally gotten gains from foreign entities like Russia, like Ukraine, like China. And when Joe Biden stands there and says at the debate, I have never taken money from a foreign source, you know... I immediately had a flashback to Bill Clinton. Well, that depends on what your definition of is, is. <laughs> um, no, he hasn't taken money directly from a Ukrainian official, directly from the mayor's wife of Moscow, directly from China. No, <laughs> that's when he sends in his drug-addicted idiot son to do it for him. You know... Up until just a few weeks ago, the the honor of biggest dupe to crash a political campaign went to, uh, what's his name there, Wiener. Because, you know, his wife worked for Hillary Rotham Clinton and Wiener, who couldn't seem to keep his Oscar Mayer in his pants while, you know, sex texting uh, women that he's not married to while laying on a bed, half naked, sexting with his infant daughter laying next to him. Only Anthony Weiner could destroy a presidential campaign in such colossal fashion until <laughs> Hunter Biden came along. <laughs> Let me see my crack pipe. Uh, and Joe, Joe, you're going to answer, my friend. You're going to answer. And if, if, you know, some of you, you're getting upset. He's not going to answer in court. No, he probably won't. There's a judge. No one escapes. And... We're now really ramping up the prayer that, Lord, don't let him win the White House. Let this be an absolute, you know, the, these, these people that think that they can just continually do what they do in the way of corrupt politics, and, and even if we find out about it, we can yell, we can scream, we can even post these videos, but hey, <laughs> I'm not going to jail. <laughs> You're not going to the Oval Office either, pal. So... Uh, he has this rally in Pennsylvania. People are out there, you know, cheering and heckling on the outside. And he's all incensed by that. We can't have this. We can do something about this. And we better get it done. We better get it done. And by the way, we don't do things like those chumps out there with a the microphone are doing the Trump guys. Chumps. Chumps. But he's going to... 
He's going to bring us together. Because that's what a president does. He's going to bring us together. I'm running as a proud Democrat. But I will govern as an American president for everybody. I'll work as hard for those. I'll work as hard for those who don't support me as those who do, including those chumps with the microphone out there. And then listen to him spin this little lie, this incredible distortion. He said, if you look at the blue states, the Democratic governors, and just look at the red states, the Republican governors, we're doing well. Think of what he's saying about what's going on in America. He's saying, if you live in Pennsylvania, you're not his problem. That's not what he meant, Joe. Now, you're either a visceral liar or you really do have comprehension issues. You really don't know how to think through and understand what someone's actually saying. When President Trump says the problems in this country are in the blue states, he's not dissing Pennsylvania the same way you dissed Pennsylvania when basically saying you're going to phase out fossil fuel, you know, goodbye oil industry in Pennsylvania, bye, buy oil industry in Ohio, bye, buy oil industry in Oklahoma and Texas, bye, bye, it's going to go bye-bye, that's disrespecting. You're ripping, literally, the livelihoods away from people, destroying families, destroying economies. President Trump was not dissing the people of Pennsylvania. No, no, nay, nay. What he's dissing is the libloons and libtards who think like you and act like you and run those states into the ground. That's who he's dissing, Joe. But it doesn't matter. I don't really need to explain this because the American people get it. And you're going to find out how much they get it on November 3rd. Don't be dissuaded, my friends, by the polls. Don't be discouraged. Don't, 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 don't. Frank Luntz said something, probably the smartest thing he's ever said in his entire miserable career as a pollster. Uh, Frank Luntz said that if Donald Trump pulls off another victory, then basically anybody in the pollstering business is out of a job because we're now irrelevant. Well, duh! Who is actually going to answer a pollster honestly? Because of the repercussions they will get? Because of the fallout and the crapola they have to deal with? And not to mention, nobody thinks that the pollsters are any more credible than the lying, fake media. The media who refuses to cover the crimes of Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and the money laundering. But hey, we're chumps, right, Joe? Well, just remember, Joe, we chumps, we vote.